I think he uh, has a theory about those things. Now the walking dead? I can wrap my head around that. They're dead folk, just walking is all. But those other things? Tall and pale, slimy as maggots? They washed up with the fog. They, they, they came and dragged the townsfolk out to sea. Drowned them. Just like my dad with the kittens. What? The kid with the kittens. He took them out to sea in a garbage bag. Said they were gonna go for a swim. Said they needed the exercise. They never came back. A few years later, neither did my dad. Jeez, I, I still miss those kittens. Ah. Uh. The townsfolk, they did come back, dragging what looked like eggs. The big ones, they come out of those eggs, like something from Invasion of the Body Snatchers. They're littered all over the place and guarded, and I'm thinking to myself, Andy, that's got to mean something. That's got to be a clue. Why keep an eye on something if it ain't valuable? That's police work. That's deduction, plain and simple. So I'm thinking, what came first, the maggot or the egg? Obviously the egg, right? Um, sure. Yes. The answer to the question, the classic question is, the egg came first, but it wasn't laid by a chicken. Yeah, but these are maggots. You know what, it's, it's the same thing. <laughs> I know. Moose says it's best to talk things out. So, here I am, talking. Mom bought the kittens and Dad drowned them. That's the facts of it. I don't like speculating much, that's one step away from guessing. And the sheriff, she taught me never to guess. Mom's version was that Dad loved things too much. Got a bit crazy sometimes, hugged real hard. Didn't always want to let go. Uh... The morning he stuffed them in a bag and took them out to sea, he was full of too much feelings. Didn't know what to do with them. Uh... Took him down to Journey's End, out behind the bed and breakfast. That's where the journey ended. Jeez, Dad always wore these masks, you know. For the longest time, you figure you know leather? someone. Most of the time, really, we got no idea. No. Or, or like see porcelain, or like, I don't know, hockey masks, maybe? I don't know. Your father sounds like a slasher villain. Store-bought William Shatner painted white. Yeah, something like that. I mean, maybe they could just be metaphorical masks. Like in the mask. Except not metaphorically speaking. That got away from me. Yeah. I really, I really need to think before I say things. Well, hey. If you're planning on striking out of town, Kingsmith Hospitality dictates I gotta set you right. And I need you to keep this on the down low. But there's worse out there than our undead problem. Worse than anything that shuffles along on two legs, that's for sure. I am about as pleased as oh can be that I didn't catch a better go? look. Could be the kind of thing oh, that, that gives a yeah. nightmare nightmares. You want to stay in the light. Keep out of the trees, out of the fog. We got a few folks left holding out across the island. Well, that was last time I could check, and I'm an optimist. Pays to see the donut, not the hole. Red Shack at Tolba Bay, the Innsmouth Academy, the Wabanaki Indian Grounds. They should still be safe. Could be the others like you, that wolf fella, have set up camp out there. Toast and marshmallows and such. And steer clear of the pumpkin patch, eh? Just a feeling. Yeah, I've been there. There was certainly something weird going on there. Wait, but... others like you? You think there might be another rogue bee out there? Maybe you could try and get in contact with them. Well, as you mentioned wolf. Be safe out there. Goodbye. Yeah. And that's somebody else that, um... What's his name, man? That, oh, yeah, the, the cowboy, man. Maybe it's an Indian. Has written a psychiatric evaluation and called Joe Slater. The Lady Margaret was a traumatic experience for everyone on board. They were changed men when they came back. I visited with all of them in the days following their return. In my office, there are detailed transcripts of our sessions. I'm afraid it all happened so fast that day, there was no time to pack. I hope they may shed some light on what happened out there. 
So, okay, let's follow Andy's advice here, you know? Andy doesn't seem to be dumb. No, you know? no, just... He's just single-minded. Exactly. That's what everyone says about him. And Andy sure is single-minded. We're gonna turn this into a catchphrase, damn it. It's gonna be on t-shirts. <laughs> so, yeah, I wonder if there's, like, a life cycle of these things or something. You know, it's weird, like... Andy seems to know a lot about what's going on. He just doesn't seem to realize that he knows it. That is something I've noticed a lot of people here doing. Andy more than others, though. It's... I mean... It's almost like a defense mechanism. Could come from his upbringing. Could be, I mean... You know... With that, with t that literal monster of a father. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Learn to survive stuff. Oh, look at him! He's just like a steerage pass passenger from the Titanic. He must be. He probably was a steerage passenger from the Titanic. I don't. No, I don't think he would have made it this far. Yeah, that's a new trick I learned, by the way. What, where you just stop in the middle of a gunfight to raise your gun above your head like you're lifting a, a football trophy? No, hold on a second, I'll do it again. That one. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I can't do it very often, though. <laughs> That used to be, that, I mean, they, they used to do that in, like, the trenches of World War One, Just clear out whole trenches like that. I think I'm gonna be pouring some strong magic into that. Oh yeah, you got some strong elemental wolf ass in there. So I think these I think you're right, those zombies are pregnant. I'm both pleased that, that I was right about that and also very grossed out. It's like the rain of shotgun shells that come out whenever you hold your gun up like that. Let's see if I can catch one actually doing it. Ew. You know, you can catch one actually transforming. Those look close. Oh my god, look, look! Oh, I was looking away. Did yeah. it happen? It, don't worry, we got... One of them turned into a... Yeah, don't worry, it was, it was like on camera. Okay, good. Right, this one's about to do it too, I think. So they go Wait. ashore. And then... They walk slow. Yeah, they do. Should have been looking the first time. Oh god, just move your legs! <laughs> Doing a good job for being dead. Oh, oh, up, oh, up! Oh, there he goes. Oh. Oh. I do not want to know what was in that cloud of grief. Ah. Oh. Isn't nature fascinating? Ooh, a lobster trap. I don't want to know what's in there. Oh god, yeah, it's probably like filth contaminated by now. Ew. I just booked it. At least you caught three in one night. One night. That's pretty good. According to the B, the brood witches. Cool name. Are the ones who. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Oh god! They've got tentacles. No, I saw it. Did you see it? I did not. Oh shit! Okay. Okay, 
okay, okay, watch. Watch it. Oh, wait, there, there. Oh. oh my god. What? What was she firing at in those tentacles? I don't know. I don't want to know. Oh, hey. KG will probably want to know about this. That is disgusting. But wow, they have like a whole life cycle. What do you think happens when you go further out to sea? Wait, what's that? No, no, it's just one of those berserkers. I saw something. Probably not kill it too. Spells with that little arm. What is that? What is what? That. Oh, that. God, this is a brainiac ship. It's like a walking tour. Jesus, it's just a brain on tentacles. Brainiac ship, that's what I'm going with. Why is that a panther face? It's just cool and stylized. The guys in Brute Resources are eating this up. Nice work. We now know a lot more about draw reproduction cycles. The locals get drawn into the sea, they drown, rise, get knocked up, and then plant themselves in pods on the shore. How romantic. This all raises a lot of new questions, especially regarding the drug's ability to control the locals. How exactly does one direct the actions of a brainless being? This is a question I struggle with every day. Yeah, KG. KG is not one for positive reinforcement in the workplace. Gathered. Wait a minute, there's another one. There are fragments of older tales embedded in the seagull screams, mariners' tales of things birthed in dead bodies and dark waters, putrid souls stippled with eel holes. These unquiet dead, these hungry dead, with their milk cataract stares. A few seagulls even remember the name. Drug! 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 More of these things. Oh, it looks so weird when they run, rise up like that. Bees are really talkative tonight. I think maybe you just got better at finding them somehow. There is a horror story bobbing in Kingsmouth Harbor. Its name is Lady Margaret. Listen. Yeah! Yeah! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh. The story is encoded in seagull cries. The seagulls eat the bloated bodies out of the alchemy of their bellies. Those dead secrets fuse to the essence of the birds. Something just occurred to me. Yeah? Why are these boats grounded? How am I able to wade in a harbor? And look at the look at this high water look at this watermark here. Maybe it's just low tide. Has it? It's been low tide since I got here. Well, it's also been like it's either been less than a day or a week since you got there, depending on which time we use. I think it's actually going down. If anything, could the sea beach ground? Drying up? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe one of these drogue pulled the plug. <sighs> oh, well, you don't know about the plug? That's not a real thing, is it? Well, let's just say it really messed up our conspiracy when people first discovered Australia. I'm losing the ability to know when you're kidding. I'm kidding. It's Hawaii. So hang on, Bannerman's like a shrink, right? Yeah. Why does he have so many knives? 
and surgical yeah. tools. Is he and corpses? Is he the only doctor in this town? I think he is. I mean, like a psychiatrist is a magical doctor. I mean, I guess, but like, you know, he doesn't have like. This is like some. No, wait, hold on a second. This is some high-end surgical stuff. Is that a butt plug? No, no, it's a, it's a, it's a rotary oh, saw. Oh, okay. It kind of looked like a butt plug. It's a bone saw. So bone saw is ready. R.I.P. Oh uh, yeah, R.I.P. Randy Savage. But now wait a minute. This is this is not right. Even like. As a single practitioner, he should not have all this equipment, especially not as dirty as this. Unless... Was he working on the corpse? But, wait a second, he wouldn't have all that unless he was already working on corpses. Huh. Huh. Oh, Vivaldi, I love Vivaldi. That's just plain damn weird. Oh, I know, Vivaldi's beautiful. No, no, I mean, like, what he's doing. Oh, yeah, I mean, that that's just plain damn weird. Robert, I had a wonderful time last night. Looking forward to seeing you again soon. Hope you enjoy the CD. It's the only Vivaldi that Flags had in stock. So, Robert Bannerman... It doesn't look like a Robert. What does a Robert look like? Um, I don't know. The Bannerman? That's the... I mean, you know, it's sorry to be stereotypical, but he looked kind of... a little too... Bear in mind this is somebody coming from someone whose mother was, was but he looked kind of Jewish. Okay, I kind of kind of got a feeling you were going there. I'm just... Like what kind of ethnicity is Bannerman now? Is it just like generic white? No, that's that's yeah yeah that's that's so Anglo-Saxon. Oh, it's actually Scottish. Oh, okay, it's so Scottish. I'm sorry for insulting the Scottish. Well, you should be. <laughs> Doesn't sound Scottish though. I mean, it's for one thing, it's actually spelled like how it's pronounced. Gee, I wonder who his favorite composer is. Oh. Come on, the planet Druidia had a better password than this. At least put, like, a number in it. Deviant teenager. That sounds fun. Ten bump, Mr. Rosen. Reasons for referral, deviant behavior, including voyeurism and graffiti. Method. Helen thought that this assessment would be the best way to stop Mr. Rosen from pressing charges. It was a pretty funny YouTube clip of Rosen in his underwear watering roses. Diagnosed, Danny is a fine, healthy young man. His sense of humor might make some enemies. <laughs> uh, kids will be assholes. Yeah. You should look up that YouTube video, though. Madam Roger. Real name unknown. Referral self-employment. Reason not disclosed. Method. M. Roger seems to suffer from a variety of deviant sexual fantasies, not least of which involve an inappropriate doctor-patient relationship. Diagnosis. Dynamite. Professionalism! I mean, I work with Dr. Zern, and that is uh, in no way medically ethical. Promoted. Faction rank increased. Congratulations, rookie. Good job. You really nailed this one. Keep this up and there's a place on the winning team when the dust clears. Uh, mm, she... I don't think she knows we're only like halfway through. I think, don't think she cares. Well, no, no, she doesn't. And it's good that you're picking up on that. Regarding patients Derek Creed, Lawrence Creed, and Joe Slater. Got some addresses. 
came to him after the road, Lady Margaret limped back into the harbor, all of them needed help, so they arranged separate interviews. Diagnosed too, too early to tell, but something clearly happened on that ship. Derek suffers from severe headaches and a keen sense of paranoia. The similarities of Joe Slater and Lawrence Creed are alarming. It seems the symptoms develop at uneven rates, but I fear everyone on the boat might be affected with this, whatever it is. Lawrence Creed. Second consultation with Lawrence today. The headaches are getting worse, to the point where he can no longer function normally. The paranoia has not abated, and he has... Developed a new symptom, night terrors. I prescribed an antidepressant, but if his development is anything like Joe's, I fear he will only get worse. Mm. I saw Joe again today. This is the fourth consultation, and I'm at a loss. He was barely coherent. His left leg twitched, and he obsessively scratched his right arm. Paranoia has developed into severe delusions. Consulted with Hartman, in New York who suggested the symptoms are most likely signs of schizophrenia, which echo my earlier diagnosis. With others from the boat presenting similar symptoms, however, and the patient's lack of response to medication, I fear this might be something environmental, something eating away at the brain, prescribed clozapine, but am not optimistic. Huh. Wait, go back. What's that one on the top, on the top left? Oh, that's just a chest. That's just somebody like. Oh, really? That that's what it normally looks like. When you slouch over, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I just looked. Wait a second. Where's his X-ray machine? It's a uh, uh, huh. Hold on. That's a very good question. Yeah, he must have it in the basement or something. I mean, yeah, you wouldn't want that in the main office. No, no. I mean, especially not if you're living here. Oh, I, oh, I hope they weren't trying for kids. 